gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. <clears throat> Gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil shrouds unfathomable beauty crown jewel of mystery. What are words for? One seed planted deeply into the soil, nourished by the gift of gentle rains, bears such delicious fruit. So too, love, when it grows deep in our soul, sustained by tenderness of gentle words, bending also towards the silence of the sun. The luna moth flip-flops from bush to door jam to tree graceful, showing off her lacy mint wings, then frantic, craving stillness. Burst of light and clap of thunder, telling me to run, run for cover, but not under trees or into the water, because I am electric, because the lightning wants to find me and connect. I the spark with earth the match, too intense for my little heart to handle, these big summer clouds rolling over beach and dunes so fast, so vast I want to touch them. I want to float and watch this dark sky river that wraps a mask around the sun, then flies away before I can catch my breath to say I am not afraid to say I love you. Each word has its own coloration, its own tonality, its own uh, weight or levity, and we use these words every day in every interaction, and even in our thinking, and inside of our heads we're using these words. And they, they color everything, you know, if we're, it's the glass half empty, half full thing. If, we, if our words are more seeing the world as full, I think our t future and our, even our interactions every day tend to be more full, and if they see everything as empty, then the way we move through the world and the way the world is presented to us has that half-empty coloration. Poetry, you elusive artist of torture and extreme generosity, how do you manage to be so dichotomous? You bring me to my knees, promote uncontrollable sobbing and mirth from the deepest core. You tickle my loves, awake my passions, then dash them on the seawall, giggling and mocking like a rogue wave, teeth curling and falling, down as droplets of its crest. I want to push you away for the havoc you create in me and draw you close out of curiosity regarding your next revelation. You are to me as meat in life, repulsive as rich, cruel in your conception, yet deliciously nourishing. You are like a full course meal, unexpected, there was ice cream in my shoes. I couldn't find the light switch, so I convinced myself I preferred the dark. Grünscher an der Käfer, du blitzt mir ins Auge, Smaragd. Ans Fliegengitter im Fenster klammern sich drahtige Beinchen in der Falle. Der Gewitterwind weinend geht durch die Fühle. Du willst hinaus, Quecksilber schnell geschüttet ins Rettungsglas. Dein Panzerkörper glänzt wie Ölpfützen. 
wie glitzernde Eisenbahnschienen, hart wie das Haus einer Schildkröte. Wir sind draußen. Still auf der Handfläche schaust du die Gelbblumen an und den Himmel. Still sammelst du dich für den Sprung. Und durch filigrane Flügel glänzt die Sonne grün. I was crazy with protons and neutrons. I was left all alone in a telephone booth. I ate Chinese fortune cookies all day and became very wise. I come to snack, you present yourself. I gorge on your visions painted with words. An hour with you becomes the moment that dominates me for days, filling my thought with ruminations and judgments of my lives past and present. There is no luxury in the preponderance of truth, for you are it. You come cloaked or stripped, in the end always the same raw presentation, undebatable, just standing naked and taunting. Here I am, you can't look away, accept all as it is, and you never tell me it will be okay. Words are for walking on, I would say. You can, because I'm a knitter too, uh -huh. so that sort of reminds me of, like when you knit, you do one stitch at a time, and when you write, it's the same thing, uh -huh. like one stitch at a time, one word at a time, but when you're done, you have something that you can play with, something that you can like put on or use as a rug or make into a sculpture. That's what I like about words, that's what words are for. Words are in a human invention. They evolve. They have a life of their own. They have unique sounds. The sounds also evolve. And there are never enough of them. Words are the way we live and die. Words are the way we tell each other that we're here. Words are about so long and so short, but it doesn't matter how long or how short they are. They're about something that happens in our head when we move our lips. That's what words are about. Alter. The night you were born, the moon in the window turned, my body blew like snow at night. Hand on the macadam of my belly, I felt you moving as a wave in the dark. I was grateful. I fastened words, fashioned stories. I am beginning again. Today is February. A plastic bag caught on barbed wire struggles in the wind. No, let me begin again. Morning, black feather fingers chipped from ice. Beside you. The first morning shadow moves behind closed eyes, impalpable sensation of an other existence, deep in space between animal and angel, the mirror and the face, the lung and the breath, and flesh between its second skin of air. And between the cell and emptiness, choice and resistance, form in all its multiplicity, I lay beside you, in the warm hearth of sleep, in a smolder of dreams and sweat commingling, where day breaks and night's ash ends, breathing evenly until light cracks the flat surface of a sky still hanging darkness in the star maps and mist of uncertainty that comes from the raw, rainy smell of your body turning backwards into sleep. The Luna Moth flip-flops from bush to door jam to tree, graceful, showing off her lacy mint wings, then frantic, craving stillness, eggs pushing down low in her abdomen, locates the right leaf deposits her pearly progeny, then the flame. They're building blocks that make our future and building blocks that we can rearrange 
to reshape our past. I think we use words um, to construct little imaginary rooms that we dwell in with the rest of the I think that's how we construct the world. I was understanding the nature of bubble gum. I was floating in a soap bubble. Again and again, I talked with a professor who thought he was a giraffe. No one attempted to save my snail collection when my house burned down. I was so disappointed in the color red. I painted a picture of potatoes from Mars. And poetry is to open the door to mystery so that we can walk through in and out of mystery, the body, the world of images, and what we call reality, to be able to see that that is spiritually alive within us. Words are for communicating what's in our hearts. Words are for creativity. Words like the word that was made flesh. It's like words have being attached to them. They have breath and they have, they have language. And somehow words captivate our culture and our personal heart at the same time and, and fold them and weave them together to form a poem or a communication or something important that we want to say, like, pass the potatoes. And then I move back. Gossamer, sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. <coughs> Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty, crown jewel of mystery. Gossamer sea mist veil, shrouds unfathomable beauty.